Okay, grade 11, in this video, we are going to do another question, which is from cost accounting or manufacturing. Okay, so make sure that you watch the entire video so that you will have understanding of what we are going to do. And we are also going to do a calculation for break-even point. Okay, let's start with our question. Question 2.2.1, calculate the amount indicated by A to B. Okay, it's four marks, and after that, we're going to calculate break even point and we do a comment okay let's calculate 2.2.1 roman figure number a if you check on the table is administration cost okay but if you check this administration cost is fall under a fixed cost under a fixed cost we have only two item which is a factory overhead cost and administrative cost then we get a total so they already give us total fixed cost and they give us factory overhead cost but they don't they didn't give us a administrative cost which means that we can get it as a balancing figure okay which means that we just we just gonna take our total of one million two forty eight thousand and we subtract eight nine eight five sixty okay then after that you will subtract and you will get a amount of three forty nine four forty. Okay, then after that, you will be done with question two point one point one a three marks. Uh, this one, then number B, uh, we are looking for unit cost under variable cost. So they give us a direct material cost, a total cost of 748,800. Remember, variable cost depend on the number of units produced. So in order for us to get unit cost, how much is cost per one unit? We must first identify how many units we produce on 30 June 22. We produce, if you check down there, 24,960, which means that we are going to take a direct material, the one that we are looking for, the total of 748,800, then we divide by number of units produced, 24,960, and we will get a 30 rand per unit. So this is how you get this one. And you have to make sure that you get this one correctly because it's going to affect your calculation of 2.2.2 okay then 2.2.2 they said calculate a break even point for the financial year end 30 june 2020 so in order to calculate this one firstly you must identify the formula okay formula said a total fixed cost then we divide by selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit okay then it will give you a break even point in units okay then now let's identify our fixed cost or total fixed cost we know it is amount of one million two hundred and forty eight thousand okay then our selling price, we have to go to the table. If you check down there, our selling price is 184. Okay, minus variable cost per unit. Variable cost per unit, they didn't give us a total. The reason is because they want us to calculate number B. Okay, now because we know it's 80, which means that our variable uh, will be 56. We're going to minus 56 from direct labor and we minus 80 the one that we got and we also minus the last one of 46 okay so if you subtract all this uh, it's gonna give you 52 okay this will give you 52 which means that you're gonna, gonna say 1 million 248,000 divided by 52 then you will get a breaking even point of 24,000 units when you calculate break even point, guys, make sure that you write that this is unit. Once you write 
rent, you are going to get it wrong. They are not going to give you a max for that. Okay, then let's proceed. Let's proceed. Then the other one, they said, do you think the business will be happy with the break even point? Quote relevant figure in your comment. Okay. Then they said, yes. It can be yes or it can be no. Okay. How do we compare that? Let's check. The business produce 24,960. But the point that they don't they didn't make a profit or loss is 24,000. They exceeded. They produce more than break even point because break even point is 24,000, but they produce 24,960, which means that the profit is only 960 unit. This is the goods that they only make a profit, which means that their break-even point is still fine because what they're producing is more than point of no profit, no loss, which means that if they sell all of them, they're still going to make a profit of 960. But if they produce less than break-even point, they're going to make a big loss, okay? Which means that for this one, we can say it, yes. The business is on the right track or the business is still on the breaking viewpoint and the owner should be happy. So I hope you learned something on this video. Please, before you go, make sure that you have subscribed, you like video, share with friend and also support us guys by a study guide that we are selling for, especially those who are going to study a grade 12 as well. Text us on WhatsApp uh, so that we can... Um, organize if you want a hard copy or soft copy for the study guide so that you can prepare yourself for grade 12 okay see you next time guys